Hey guys, Woody here. Welcome back. This is episode 7 of the Chapman 0102 save with Gillingham all the way to Champions League glory. Um, just want to say thank you to all the uh, support out there, people watching these videos, people really loving the um, the uh, Chapman 0102 retro. The views have been great, the likes have been awesome, and I'm really enjoying playing this game again. So uh, if you have caught up, if you have just found this video, go back and watch the first one. It's a, it's a good little ride so far. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you could, that would mean a lot for me. Tap that bell notification, smash that like button, and uh, you know, as I've said in other videos, if you like, if you've got a suggestion for anyone who you'd like to see me sign, check it down in the comments, and I'll go and um, you know check them out, or you know, hopefully sign them. Anyway, uh, we are back. As you can see here, I've put Kevin James up for transfer. He's not going to get that good. Uh, we sit ninth in the Premier League at the moment. Six wins, four draws, five losses. Um, Goal difference of plus four, so that's not too bad. I left you, oh god, uh, Middlesbrough, West Ham. Did we just lose to West Ham? I think so. I played a host of games. I played a lot of games. Um, we beat Middlesbrough 2-1. Uh, more Ryan and Tomadier on the scorecard for that. 4-0 win over Fulham, even though Chris Hope got sent off. That um, was an interesting one. Uh, we then lost 2-1 to Wolves, obviously, because we just cannot seem to beat them. A 2 all draw with Ipswich. This saw us then have a really bad run of four games without a win. A one all draw with Sunderland. A 5-3 loss to Arsenal. I mean, you score three goals against Arsenal, and you're like, come on. But then, obviously, there's Thierry Henry, who bags a hat-trick. Uh, we then beat Coventry 4-2. They are really, really struggling uh, in the Premier League this season. Uh, we then had another little streak of losses as we lost 3-1 to Liverpool, 2-1 uh, to Barnsley. That was in the uh, the League Cup, though, so we're out of that, out of the third round. Oh, was, we missed the Cheltenham game. We beat them 4-0 in the League Cup, really rotated there. Um, and I rotated for the Barnsley game as well. We then lost to Bolton again, 1-0. Hugo Panera getting his second, yes, second red card of the season. A, uh, a one all draw with Newcastle. Uh, as you can see here, good old Roberto Baggio signed on a free, playing quite well. Uh, with Shea Given being sent off there. Couldn't capitalise there. A two all draw with Blackburn. Uh, Tonton Zolomokoko there grabbing, I think that's his first league goal that was to get us. Uh, yeah, he's got two in the cup, one in the league. His first league goal to uh, to get us a, a draw there. And then finally, a 1-0 win over Aston Villa. Roberto Baggio there scoring the goals. We've got some tough games today. We've got Leeds, who are third. Man United, who are first. And Chelsea, who are eighth. But remember, this is just before Ramonic Bitch buys Chelsea. So they are not, um, you know, the force. But they still have some good players. Jimmy Floyd, Hasselbank, uh, Idega Johnson as well. Um, Gianfranco Zola, although he is getting a little bit on transfer-wise. I haven't bought in anyone since the last episode. Obviously, Roberto Baggio. Great stuff. Uh, Jeff Whitley. As yes, Jeff Whitley has now signed permanently because bid started coming in for him, and I was like, actually, I don't want to lose him. So I thought I would decide, I decided, you know, I thought I would throw my hat in the ring as well. So yeah, Jeff Jeff Whitley now a proper Jules player. Uh, that's all that's sort of been happening there finances wise. We're looking pretty good. Still got about four million in the bank. I am um, trying to uh, yeah. Just, the scouts are out. We'll just say I've transfer listed a few players down the reserves. Hugo Pinero has two red cards and he's not playing well. He's played nine games, uh, eight games in the league, uh, conceded eleven. So good job I did buy Mar Nigel Martin, who's really stepped up. We would be. A lot further down. Um, the other annoying thing is uh, Goodwin Okpara has had a... Um, can we go to his history? Uh, yeah, we can do. And we look at his injuries. Uh, he has had a car strain, a damaged foot, and a twisted knee. So he has missed nine weeks since he signed for me. And in that, he's only played two league games. Two started two league games, two off the bench, and one cup game. So he's back on the bench today. Luckily, we, did, we do have the cover of the likes of... Uh, Chris Hope, who's playing well, 7.21, and Trubel West on a 7.44, and Jervis Drummond just sort of settling into the Premier League. Right, enough of that. Let's just get into the game. It's four minutes in, and we're going to kick the game off. Leeds have a very good team, as you can see. I'm surprised they're playing Alan Mabry, though, at right back. That's interesting. And Tomadira is injured straight off the bat. That is not good. Marlon King coming on for him. 
Lucas Radaby, Oliver Decor, Eric, uh, Eric Backey, Lee Bowyer, Michael Bridges, Mark Paducah, and Harry Koo. But the Jills have taken the lead with a Roberto Baggio penalty as we get the second half underway. And I just realized, sorry guys, I've got the commentary speed racing off at a million miles an hour. And Marlon King has scored as Robbie Keane goes off injured for, um, for Lee. Just chill, chill for a bit there. Sorry, I forgot to have the speed racing up again. Roberto Baggio on a 73. He's going to come off for Tonton Zolo Mokoko. Um, I also noticed as well. Uh, yeah, so Goodwin Okpara coming on for Tribo West. Something that I, I only did notice as well. I can make five substitutes as well, which is excellent. Stephen Glass is going to come on for Mile Ryan. Did, I, did you guys know I bought Stephen Glass? I bought Stephen Glass from Watford. He's a pretty good buy. 2.2, I like thinking of as the light Stephen Hughes. I think I might have said that last episode. So four subs there. We'll leave it with that and we will resume the game as we are looking really, really good with 2-0 up against a, a very, very strong Leeds team. Uh, very, very good Leeds team. And it does look like we are going to get away with this one and it could be a clean sheet for Nigel Martin on his return to Leeds. What a game. Leeds look really, really ordinary. Nigel Martin with an eight then. And man of the match, Marlon King. Now, the thing here is is the injury to Tomadira. Ooh, it's a month with a calf strain. That is not good. Not good indeed. We've had a few um, quite bad injuries. This will give Butcher a chance. He's been limited here. But uh, Steve Finnan is uh, t two weeks as well, and he's picked up... Uh, also, he had a torn groin muscle for... No, that wasn't... Was that me? Yeah, torn groin muscle, twisted knee, two twisted knees... No, the talking growing muscle was last year, sorry. Two twisted knees he's had. So he's been out for five weeks. Uh, Paul Smith has a twisted knee. We're twisting so many bloody knees. And Hugo Panero has just been suspended endlessly. But I don't think he's going to get back in the team with Nigel Martin performing as well as he is. Now, off to play, obviously, the most overpowered team in this whole game. Possibly, mm, I guess, an argument could be made about Roma uh, being there. But... Um, yeah, Man United are pretty overpowered in this, so it should be an interesting one. I'm trying to find this, trying to find this guy. I found him. I'm trying to find this young Swedish goalkeeper. I think he looks okay. Uh, I just need another goalkeeper who is actually going to be uh, a lot better than Jason Brown because Jason Brown's quite ordinary, and he actually has had to play a game because Nigel Martin had a short injury as well. He had to play one game. Played seven, so I mean, it's not it's not too bad, but uh, I can't really rely on him if, um, you know, Hugo Panera out of form or getting suspended, and then Nigel Martin uh, copping an injury or whatever, and I've got to play Jason Brown. So uh, this guy I've been looking at as well, Paul Jorgen Nielsen, 31-year-old Dane, but I think when I tried to say him last time, he he really ooh, Danny Higginbotham. His crossing's really bad. We, we, we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna sign him. He only wants backup? Sure. Sounds good, Danny. Um Switch goalkeeper of the year, Peter Westman. Who's Peter Westman? I'm getting I'm getting so off track here. Uh, he's not bad. Um, I've lost track of stuff. What I was saying, yeah, he wanted like a, a key player or something. I was like, no, no, you can't have, um, you can't have a key player because I don't want you as a key player. Anyway, scouts going out. Good, good, good. Scally's happy. Right, let's go play Man United, eh? In what could possibly be a bit of an ominous sign, if I can find it here, um. My reserves just got thumped 7-1 by Manchester United. Dwight York scoring four goals. I mean, the Manchester United team is ridiculous. They've got Roy Carroll, Phil Neville, John O'Shea in there. Uh, Bojan Zjordic. I'll add him to the shortlist. Thank you very much. Nicky Butt, Dwight York. Like, come on. Luke Chadwick started as well. Like, how am I even supposed to compete against that team with this bunch of reserves? I mean, my reserves are terrible. But anyway, uh, the team for this game is exactly the same as it was for the team uh, against the first game we played in, which was Leeds. My mind has just gone to pot, to absolute pot. Anyway, let's go. This is going to be crazy. 
game. We are obviously the away team at Old Trafford. The Jills versus Manchester United, who have not lost a game all season. Five points ahead of Arsenal. Can we put a dent in their title hopes and bloody their nose with their first loss of the season? I would say at the moment, it's looking pretty, pretty even as both teams are really, really uh, pulling their punches as we head into halftime. Oh, half time. It, like it, it's it's pretty even. I'd say we've been the better team. Better passes, better uh, we've won more headers, more shots on target. I'm I'm really happy with how we're playing. No one's really, really lagging in the fitness stats, so we'll keep the game back off. We'll chuck up our stats to keep an eye on them. We could get lucky here and nick something, although you know, so many there it is, Manchester United have just sort of I was gonna say so many times I've played Manchester United in this game and you, you can be beating them 1-0 or 2-0 with like 70 minutes on the clock and then all of a sudden the next thing you know you've lost 4-2 and you're like, what the? <laughs> all right, Roberto Baggio is tied and Teribo West is on a five. So Teribo West can come off and um, I'm going to leave Baggio on and just kind of like run him into the ground, so to speak. We're going to take off the, all the players that are on a, uh, a six, which is... Uh, some big players in Kennedy B and um, the like. And we will go Godden there. And then we'll leave one more there towards the end to make, um, to see if we can, you know, an attack. We might take off Baggio uh, for like, there it is. That's, that's, I mean, this is why it is such a good team. We're going to touch on Zola Makoko for Baggio. Um, yeah. I mean, we've managed. They've they've kept us out. Barthez is on a nine, and uh, and like I said, this is this is why they're one of the best teams in the game. Well, we couldn't even score a goal against them at this point, and we probably should have. The stats have been very very even. And oh my God, Nigel Martin gets himself sent off in literally the last play of the game. And I don't think I can make another sub. Nope. Um. No. Yeah, off you go. Let's go, Whitley. You're in goal. See what I said? Nil at half time, looking really, really good. Bartes man of the match on a 10, which is even more annoying. We end up losing 3 0 and have the goalkeeper sent off. Well, welcome to Chipman 0102 and playing Manchester United. We're going to appeal that. Uh, is, is Hugo Pinero back? He is. He is just back. Although Martin's suspension won't kick in until like. Three weeks, two weeks is that. So we'll have him for Chelsea Sunderland, but he'll be out for possibly Leicester Tottenham West Ham, which isn't bad because West Ham are bottom of the table, Leicester are 15th and Spurs, Spurs are fifth. So um, <laughs> I am so, so glad that I signed Nigel Martin just to cover Hugo Panera because we would be up of the proverbial creek at this point. If, if I didn't have him. Oh, I love stuff like this in chat, man. So Teribo West is on international duty. And I'm like, oh, African Cup of Nations. No. That's, that was, that was last year or the beginning of this year. Uh, no, no, he's just, he's just off for a friendly against Cameroon on the 15th of December. What the hell? Anyway, thank God we've got another Nigerian that we can chuck in there. Um, it's going to be, uh, Smith actually, and Edge can go for Rose, and we are going to put Hugo Pinero back onto the bench. Other than that, it is the same lineup that we, uh, that lost to Manchester United, unfortunately. Steve Finnan, not quite back from injury just yet. How has, uh, Drummond been playing? He's a little bit hit and miss. We are, we might drop him to the bench. Let's get in and let's play. Chelsea before the Abramovich money. They got Mark Bosnich, John Terry. John Terry's very good in this 22 years old. This Aid, Roberto Di Matteo, Zenden, Jimmy Floyd, Idega Johnson, and they've signed Benito Caboni from Bradford. But Jamie Victory, is that his first goal for the Jules? No, surely not. That must be another goal. It would have said, wouldn't it? Good old Jamie Victory. Best left back in the game by a long way. Go on, tell me he's not. But we are looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, like I said, Gillingham aren't... Gillingham. Chelsea aren't great in this. As you can see, they're around about where we are at the moment. Um, <clears throat> as as I say that, the Johnson scores. And they will probably then go ahead and beat us 
convincingly. Uh, having a look at the dual stats, everyone's okay. Marlon King, he has a potential knee injury. Let's get him off because I cannot afford to have another striker go down uh, with an injury. And we'll keep an eye on the likes of Kennedy Bakaloglu and Steve Palmer who aren't playing too well. But Butra getting a goal. Good old Butra. If you're doing a save, especially lower leagues, sign Butra. He is the boss. Phil Mulrine has a shin injury, and Roberto Baggio is just tired because he's old. But we are going to take off Steve Palmer for glass, and we will also take off... Uh, no, we're going to bring on Tonton Zola Makoko for uh, Phil Mulrine. And anyone else, is there anyone else we're going to do? Uh, Roberto Baggio, he's looking pretty tired. Uh, we'll leave it for the moment. We'll give Baggio another 10 minutes. Uh, hopefully he can uh, produce some magic and score another goal. Doesn't look like it. Oh, Butra! Butra, Butra, Butra. I'm going to say that was set up by Baggio. He hasn't got any assists, but I'm going to say Baggio did the, uh, did, the, did, the, did the stuff in the middle there. We'll take him off. We'll swap God in there with Makoko and put Makoko behind the strikers. Um... Bruno Lucas, we'll, we'll ring on Nyron Noseworth. Ah, uh, Paul Smith come back from injury for Jeff Whitley. Yeah, just so I can make five subs, so I'm going to make five subs. And this is a good, good win against a pretty, pretty decent Chelsea team. And that is a great win. Zenda getting man of the match, but uh, I don't know how Butra didn't get to it. Super sub Butra. All right, that is good. That's pushed us up into eighth leads, down into fourth. Man United still winning top of the table. All right. That was look. I'm I'm pretty happy. I feel like we can get, we we might be able. Oh, you know, it'd be you know, it'd be sweet. Would be an Inter Toto Cup spot. That would be amazing. If you have no idea what that is, Google it. Um, and with that being said, I think, I think. Oh God, look at this. Jeez, Leeds United, Chelsea, and Tottenham to finish off the season. That is going to be a tough, tough four games. We're just going to do the three today. Conscious about these episodes being too long. Nice, short, and sweet. But it's been pretty good. 2 0 win over Leeds. They lost to Man United, whatever, and the win over Chelsea. So I'm probably going to come back towards the end of the season. Um, I would come back for these last four games here, but you've just seen us play them, which is super duper frustrating. But I'll figure it out. We might come back somewhere around here or whatever. I'll figure it out. I'll just play some games and come back, and then you guys will uh, will watch it like you have been, which I am very, very appreciative of. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. If you're not yet subscribed, if you could, would mean a lot to me. Smash that like button. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.